I have a New Year's intention, and it's to <laughs> become a better drawer. <laughs> <laughs> I think it came out really good. Thanks. Her mom said I look like a caveman. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. You look like a man. <laughs> Whatever. We'll get into the drawing later. I'm Juby and this is Justin and this is our baby Azalea. After we got married, we bought a bus and for the last two years have been building it out into our full-time home. Living in a tiny house community form and raising our ever-growing baby. So join us for the ride as we quit the 9 to 5 and begin our travels in our big red pepper. Welcome back to another video. We're glad to have you here in the new year for 2020. <laughs> no. This whole setup, man. <laughs> what were we talking about? Um, I didn't remember. Board games. Azalea's here. I didn't. I think she's in the shop. <laughs> she says Happy New Year. When we first shot the video. It was like our half-baked brainstorming process. Yeah, this is our second take. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't tell you how good it feels to be on the other side of the brainstorming process. Yeah, I think we needed time to process our intentions and figure out what direction we wanted to go with what was worthy of speaking to you guys about. Step one. Step one was I purchased this journal and it's gonna be available on my website to purchase. It was really helpful because it breaks down some categories for intentions so that we were able to kind of focus on certain areas of our life that we wanted to improve on and kind of explore with intentions for this year. So I'll just throw them at you now. Spiritual, mental, work, love, money, social, physical, and inspiration. I think it covers just about everything. Yeah. What's really special about making intentions is that everybody has very unique intentions to themselves and their own personal goals. Don't mind Azalea in the background, she's just entertaining herself. All right, step two. Was we sat down together and brainstormed what we wanted individually, as a couple, as a family. Well, we went from category to category mm -hmm. too. And so for each one, we wrote down our personal intentions for each and every single topic. Um, and some of those had a little bit more than other ones. All right. And so there's a really like rough, just like getting stuff on paper. That was the hardest part because I was a bit confused. Just putting everything on paper. Yeah, it was a bit like Because there's some things that like, yeah, there's you know? some things that really mean a lot to you. And then there's some things that you realize once you go into it more, you're like, actually, no. I don't need yeah. to focus on that. I but, already do that, so I don't want to do that. But I think I needed to just throw up on the paper. Like, honestly, I just <laughs> needed to just be like, that, Like, write everything that I could think of down. And um, once we had that stuff down, it kind of like gave us a little bit of a chart of where to go. And then, what next? Like, what was after that? That was the first session, and then we kind of broke off into our own sections yeah. to kind of like really drill down, right? Mm -hmm. And so, how, how did yours go? Well, we each have our own way of diving into our own souls, I guess. And for me, my business, Moonflower Chart, has always been a really big creative inspirational factor of my life and something that's like a really big part of who I am. And monthly I write blog posts, so I decided to take my intentions and make a blog post out of it. So. In working on the blog post, I was able to kind of like explore and use pictures to inspire myself and um, just share my feelings towards each of the different topics that we focused on. Um, and so, yeah, you're able to read that online if you're curious more about what I um, am doing for this year of 2020 to keep my intentions thriving. The thing that inspired us to really do all of this was this journal and a little poem that they sort you off with to think about for the year is trust intuition, seek simplicity, refine and reinvent. The earth is my body, both are sacred. Live life with purpose, focus on the essential and do all things with heart. How do I inspire others? 
and that just really like set me on a trajectory to just use the planner as inspiration for what direction I want this year to go and so for me I'll just say a few and then if you want to read more about my action points how I'm going to actively do things to make my intentions become real and a part of my life then you can read more about it on my blog post which I'll link down below so meditation be more present and have a morning and evening routine for mind learning, wisdom, and challenge. I'm working on doing some more reading, exploring more of a zero waste, greener, and plastic free lifestyle, developing leadership skills, attending conferences and workshops or classes, career, contribution, and service. For Moonflower Child, I'm doing monthly collaborations and increasing my wholesale line sheet, as well as maybe a super legit pop up shop at the end of the year. For Red Pepper Productions, which is what you guys get to enjoy through YouTube, we're just going to keep growing the business and creating inspiring YouTube videos for you guys. Comfortable monthly income and saving for our land or home that we're hopefully going to have in the next couple of years. Mother, community, network, and to expand our bus and road life communities. More just in alone time and a better self-love routine and nurturing friendships with family and friends on a daily basis. The gym or doing yoga and just movement daily in general. Explore more of a self-care routine. Try new hobbies such as like paddle boarding, maybe yoga on a paddle board. Dig deeper into more of a plant-based, uh, wholesome green kind of diet. Exotic travels. I'm really excited that we're planning to be going to Bali this year and we'll be in Baja for the winter with the bus. Fire Hoop Mall, which is a past love of mine. And I also am really excited that we will be releasing a cookbook at the end of this year. So we're going to be exploring new cooking recipes and just diving deeper into the kitchen. So I narrowed it down from there, chose my top intention for each category, and then I shared the drawing. But we'll talk about the drawing later. Some of my big ones for this year. I was looking back on this year that we've accomplished. And I look on it, yeah, this last year. And I look on it really, really fondly. I'm super, super proud of what we were able to accomplish. The reason why we did all this was to have more time so I could spend it with Azalea, like raise her, help her grow, spend it with Juby and also spend it doing the things that I love. And so with that in mind, I tried to really plan for 2020 thinking with that mindset. It's like, all right, well, we worked this hard to fix the bus and hit the road so that we can have time to do the things we love. And so for me, for 2020, I want to do outdoor rock climbing. I'm going to Bali, like you said, I want to do skydiving. I'm going to get a surfboard and I'm going to learn how to surf. Actually, I did it once, but I wasn't very good. So I'm going to practice. Hey, I know how to surf, but I'm mm -hmm. going to practice and get good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do more fishing. We're going to have more fellowship with friends around the campfire. Go all the way up and down the West Coast. Big business growth. And then obviously fatherhood, husband, family, friends. Those are all top of the list. I want to continue learning. And I have me with some headphones listening to Audible. My book list is long this year. And that's mine. From another video that we had watched, we had seen a couple of other people do different uh, intentions. And there was this one video that really inspired us by Lavender. And she did a drawing of herself in the year that was ending and then who she wanted to be uh, at the end of the year that was coming. We look great for both of you. Take away. Takeaway is I'm really grateful that I bought myself this journal for the start to the new year that it inspired us to sit down together as individuals and with you guys to create this video and I guess inspire you to figure out who you could be at the end of 2020. I think where it all boils down to your process. Each mm -hmm. person has their own process. So true. I would say it doesn't even matter what your process is. Figure it out, but do what just works do it. Just yeah. barf all over the page your ideas. Yeah. Start with step one and do it. If you don't, plan on where you want to go, where you want to be, who you want to be, you just meander and you end up nowhere. whatever, nowhere. Yeah. Um, I think Running that circles. Obviously, spontaneity and no planning is awesome to a degree, but on a major scale, one, five, ten years, you gotta have some type of direction and goal mm -hmm. to shoot for. 
and to aspire to and to continue challenging yourself. And so this way it was really helpful for me to see a clear picture of what for the sure. next year looks like. And you know what's even cooler is the thought that we have like 60 more of these to do. Oh yeah. I'm stoked. How old does that make us? Old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited too. I think this is going to be a good uh, ritual to do every year. And I think it's going to really encourage us to be better people each year. And I think better just... versions of ourselves and just grow and try new things and encourage us to like figure out if we want a new hobby and what that new hobby could be. And remind us of what we want to achieve by the mm -hmm. time we're, you know, who we want to be, where we want to be. 103 years old and we're walking well, around with a cane. Time. I'm not going to have a cane. I'm going to be doing yoga on a flat paddleboard. Is that right? I'm going to get one of those <laughs> levitating things where you can just like all around the neighborhood. Well, I thought you meant like a magic carpet like where you're going to levitate. That, if we have them, I'll take one. I'll do that, yeah. yeah. Electric motorbike. That'd be cool. Yeah. I hope to the start of your year has been going good and Dude, go write down some of those goals. Yeah. That's what I would and say. And tell us what they are in the comments below. We'd love to know what you guys are working on doing and share it with the community. Oh, that's a great idea. Because maybe we could get inspired for 2021. Tell or you us. Could just inspire each other. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Tell us your top intention mm -hmm. yeah. for 2020. Yeah. Boom. Now, ready to go to Spain? So ready. Yeah, you guys are going to Spain. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> And the next video after this one is going to be about my dreadlocks. A lot of you guys have asked. I did ah! shave all my hair off. Um, thank you. So that's going to be coming soon. Thanks for the support and in the comments. Yeah, and for your patience always for us like taking our time to create videos that we feel good about and that you guys can enjoy. So we hope you enjoyed this one. Sorry for the delay. Oh yeah, as Zoe said. It was her fault. No. <laughs> <laughs> she said peace. She was sending it about. Oh yeah, she yeah. She was tired. She's yeah. down to one nap a day as of the last like week. Which means we get no work done. Yeah, it's definitely a different chapter of our lives. But we're excited to get back to like our more group. of our travels and like our daily life so that we can share more of Azalea with you guys too. Because she has grown so much in the last couple of weeks. But that's all you stuck get for with now. us. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all you get for now. So now we have to go pack and do a multitude of other things. Mm -hmm. So with that, 